Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Test Engineering Lab. So in the tutorial today, like I had mentioned in the last one that we will be talking more about Agile and how it has been used in organizations. So because Agile is a very vast topic, uh, we are going to divide it in small chunks uh, so that it's not going to be very boring for you guys to you know, grasp what it means. So eventually in the beginning of the session, you might have some doubts in your head about, uh, you know, what certain terms mean. So at the end of it, I'm going to explain everything, uh, you know, that we have been looking at so that uh, you can get a clearer picture of what Agile is. So basically in this Agile session, uh, I mean, not in this session, but overall when we'll be learning Agile, we'll cover all these topics that what it means and why do we use it what are the values and principles so what are the team members uh, that we consider in child and what it's uh, what is the scope of individuals how do we estimate certain things and what are the user stories what do you mean by backlog and you know what do you mean by ready and done and the execution mm -hmm. For agile uh, what is scrum and uh, you know what are sprints basically so all those things are going to be very interesting to learn and uh, you know cer certain topics might get a little lengthy that is why i'm going to break it down into small pieces so you know let us learn each and everything one by one now uh, what do we mean by agile uh, so agile or a scrum is just a simple framework and uh, the reason that we uh, implement Agile is because it can be implemented in a few days. Okay. So when we have certain complex problems, what we do is we divide those uh, complex problems into some small problems and take it up and implement in less time span. Okay. Now, Agile ha involves the collaborative effort, uh, you know, that includes developers and customers and the testing team, okay, all together. So everybody is working in constant coordination and they are in constant communication about, you know, how is the progress and what are the requirements and if there is any change or not. Now, there can be certain misconceptions when we are talking about agile so it's not just uh, something that's going to solve all your problems okay or it is not uh, something that's going to be uh, you know a miracle for what you have been doing and it cannot replace the waterfall model entirely obviously and it is not just give me a second okay so uh, you know Basically, in Agile, it does not mean that there is no documentation at all or, you know, there are no matrices ever uh, uh, included as a part of Agile. So, we will uh, learn each and everything. But for now, just the only thing that we can learn from this slide is basically when we want uh, things to be developed in shorter span. So, you know... Uh, that can be achieved in agile uh, and you know that is actually implemented uh, by sprints okay and what sprints are we'll just discuss in the upcoming sections but for now just let's let's learn what do we mean by agile so there are certain agile uh, practices which include uh, you know scrum and which includes the Kanban and there, are, there is extreme programming and feature de driven development. Okay, there are also some people also follow the test de driven development and so on. Okay, so all these things that just, uh, you know, these are the parts of Agile. So not necessarily everything is going to be included as a part of Agile that is followed in every company. But yeah. These are certain things that are going to be there. So it's uh, just a graph that is showing that Agile is something that is not, you know, uh, it's not something that has recently come up. It has been an outcome of how the software development or, you know, the software industry has been evolving over the time. And uh, this is the most suitable format of uh, 
development that most of the companies have actually adopted so uh, you know why do we follow agile so like we had mentioned that because we can develop things in a shorter span it obviously accelerates the product delivery now uh, you know so uh, in shorter spans the tasks that are taken up are based on the priorities for business so whatever are the most important things are taken up and worked upon and uh, of course there is increased productivity uh, you know there is an enhanced software quality in agile because the testing team is involved in the agile process right from the beginning and they are as active as the developers are in the sprints so you know obviously the end result of software that you're going to get out of it is obviously going to be good okay so you know all these are certain uh, things that are uh, you know considered when we have this agile uh, taken up and why people have adopted agile now let's not get into a lot of theory uh, part for agile actually because what is our goal here uh, for learning agile methodology is we need to understand what the concept is and why do we use it okay now uh, okay so uh, values and principles actually is something that we can take a look at um, okay now the most important part in any software business is, uh, you know, the client satisfaction. So what happens is a customer comes up with requirements. Okay. Now, for implementing those requirements into a software, what has to be finalized is, you know, what process we are going to use. If we are going to implement this software, uh, you know, how, how long would my uh, sprint should be? And what are the tools that we are going to use for implementation of those software? So all those kinds of approval has to be taken. Now, as in the other models uh, that were followed earlier, like the core waterfall model, if that is... Um, you know, taken up. Uh, what happens is, you know, the, the waterfall model does not allow the constantly changing requirements, okay? So whatever requirements are uh, given out by the customer, they are specified at the very beginning. Based on that, we have a huge documentation available and for every stages that documentation has, uh, you know, is updated from all the parties involved in that. Now, for Agile, the major advantage is that this model is actually capable of accepting any changes coming up in the, you know, pre, uh, pre, uh, you know, whatever, pre-estimated or uh, formulated design for the software. For example, if I am a customer and, uh, okay, so if I want uh, a system or if I want a website with which a user can order online and uh, I have mentioned that that customer should actually get the status of uh, the delivery that is going to be, uh, you know, approaching him, like if it has been dispatched or not or what is the status, okay? So earlier I had just mentioned this much of part. Now, in the next uh, time, what I want is I really don't want to give out those details. And I just tell the development team that, okay, uh, this is not something that I want. Instead, what I want is that on the Google Maps, I want the user to be able to locate where exactly is that particular package that he has ordered is at the moment. Okay. So instead of just showing the status, I want to show the maps now. So that's the requirement change. So all such requirement changes are adapted in this agile methodology, which cannot be taken up by, you know, other uh, model, models uh, for software development that we had discussed earlier. Okay. Now, because there are constantly changing requirements and because every sprint is of a small duration, say some places they follow three week uh, sprint and at some com in some companies it can be two week or a month sprint. Okay. So, uh, for every sprint, there are different requirements coming up and during the sprints as well, there are, there, there is a possibility that there can be a little change in them. 
so it's not really possible to maintain the huge documentation so we do have a documentation in, in agile but it is not as uh, descriptive and lengthy as it is in other uh, you know other processes now there is a contract negotiation and you know customer collaboration we have so wherein there are certain things that are finalized and uh, pl a plan is obviously formulated for incorporating um, anything and so if, whenever there is a change there has to be a plan that can uh, you know take up that change and implement it in the existing systems that we have so those are the basic values in agile that are uh, really uh, important to look at okay so uh, yeah so there are certain goals this is the first goal is the highest um, you know priority is the customer satisfaction through early and continuous delivery of valuable software and because we have uh, these small sprints in agile what we do is in every sprint we deliver some valuable software or a you know portion of code that is actually an enhancement to the existing functionality for a customer so we keep on delivering out uh, versions of software that a customer gets to use and it's kind of an early for customer instead of him having to wait for the whole year for the whole thing to be developed okay so it just goes out as releases now the second is that you know as per uh, there is a change in requirements from customer's perspective even late in the development uh Agile is something that welcomes all those changes and, you know, they can be taken up and handled in this. Okay. Now, uh, delivery is obviously frequent. Now, the business people and developers must, okay, obviously, this is very important because uh, the business has to know what is the status of the work that is going on. And, uh, you know, if there is any change, it should be quickly communicated with the developers and the testing team so that they can be um, uh, adapting themselves to those changes and incorporate them quickly. So for the same reason, there has to be continuous calls and meetings happening on a daily basis, actually, with all those people involved in Agile. Okay. Now, uh, the individuals obviously have to be motivated and, uh, of course, like they have to follow certain timelines that are given to them. So, a uh, trust has to be shown towards them. So, that's one of the principles in Agile. Okay, so uh, the, uh, the developers and the sponsors and users and testers have to maintain the constant pace. Working software is a primary measure of progress, of course. It is obviously most efficient and effective method of conveying information, right? So face-to-face -face conversation, like I'd already mentioned, that meetings are required. Okay. Now, technical excellence, excellence and good design are obviously uh, something that is taken into consideration, and there are some other finalizations as well. Okay, so all these things are like a little more uh, theoretical, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I mean, these are the basic agile principles, okay, which ensure that as per the customer's requirement, uh, the con continuous delivery with good quality product is ensured. Okay, now uh, in the team, there are certain team members in Agile. So, for example, if we have a sprint, we do have daily calls between developers, testing team and business. And, uh, you know, that team or that meeting in Agile is called as a scrum call. Okay. Okay. And in scrum call, uh, there are certain members that we have to take into consideration. So the important person here is a scrum master. Okay. So uh, a scrum master can be a 
individual from either uh, a testing team or a development team and uh, you know he is kind of a neutral and who conducts the meeting uh, with all those people like the development guys and the testing team and also from business we do have certain people who communicate the requirement with developers and qas and in certain places they are called as the business analysts or the product owners okay so uh, the bas or are, are also the part of scrum calls so now let's let's just see how what are the roles so the main role is of course the project manager who aligns the resources for uh, certain tasks that are required for a project and uh, we do have a scrum master like i had mentioned who conducts that call who uh, you know manages that call entirely and takes the status update from the development team and the testing team and communicates if there is anything um, you know needed to be conveyed from the business analysts also okay so um, the major thing that we have to ensure is that because there are people involved in the scrum call uh, which are from different teams like there is a development team and the testing team or the business analyst team you know the team of bas and there is a scrum master we do not have to think uh from the perspective of a uh, development team or testing team itself we do have to think about the whole team which is working towards a delivery of that product so all the egos and other things have to be kept aside also the resources that are put in agile are majorly cross functional so that you know at certain points you know if there are any technical spikes or upgrades that are needed in any uh, any of the product or software that we have there are times when even the developers come up with requirements so at that time they play the role of business analysts right so all these people who are working in agile are actually cross functional they are versatile so you know that's something that we can see is good thing about agile now uh, these are the certain team members and the roles for them okay so what a project manager does is he defines features decides on release date and content he is responsible for market success and he prioritizes the features and can change features and priorities every sprint now on the other hand the scrum master i have already mentioned how he actually uh handles the scrum calls and you know how he follows up for certain things from development testing or bat so we already know what a development team does right so uh, i think uh, this is what we have learned us uh, i mean i think i we should be done with this much for this tutorial to be honest because the major topics that we have covered so far is what is agile so agile is basically a methodology that is followed for a faster cost effective and good quality development which actually is flexible from client requirements perspective that it is able to handle the changing requirements from clients also to implement agile successfully we have to make sure that the dev team the qa team and the business analysts need to be in continuous communication and for that to facilitate that we do have a scrum call on a daily basis okay and the scrum master is one person who handles and facilitates that call we do have a project project manager who is responsible for market structure based on the priorities he you know uh, formulates the features and plans for the release date and so on so you know those are the some those are some core concepts that we saw related to agile we do have a lot of other things like user stories and you know many more that we had uh, initially saw in the agenda that what all things we're going to cover as a part of agile so uh, you know it's very important for us to make sure that we know this process as it is followed widely everywhere and once we actually get into this process it's very easier for us to understand you know how we can implement it so i think that's it for this tutorial thanks guys 
uh you know i'll see you in the next tutorial soon thank you